Oh, hi everyone, it's Noah here from I Hollywood TV. I was getting my dancing grooving on because you wanna know why? You wanna know why? Dancing with the Stars is returning September the 14th on ABC for season 29. Yes, with a new host and a new judge. The new host includes Tyra Banks and Derek Huff returns to the ballroom as the new judge. Oh, I love Derek. This is absolutely perfect. It's all going down September the 14th at 8, 7 central on ABC. But let's meet the new cast, shall we? Take a look. My favorite part of Dancing with the Stars, confession, is Bruno. <laughs> like, I am obsessed with Bruno. Like, I'm like, how does he get out of his chair almost every single time he's talking? I cannot wait to get in that ballroom and have fun with him. And I know the challenge is, it's live TV. So I know they're gonna be like, Tyra and Bruno, wrap it up and wrap it up now. We gotta go to a commercial. I'm gonna be like, wait a second. The sponsors can wait. Me and Bruno are having a tete a tete here. So I, I cannot wait to work with him. When I was first to be a judge on Dancing with the Stars, I was so excited. Um, Dancing with the Stars is my home. This is truly a full circle moment for me. I mean, growing up on the show, being a young kid, not really know what he's doing, you know, dancing, choreographing, working with such amazing people, um, the triumphs, the failures, and to think that, you know, I'm coming back this season as a judge, as a mentor figure, as, you know, somebody who's been on the show with all that experience and here to help and to serve, you know, these amazing celebrities who are putting themselves out there. I don't have any previous dance experience unless you just count like dance parties, like grooving with your friends. I think I was in a musical once in, in college where we kind of shuffled across the stage, but uh, I would definitely not count that as dance experience. I once joined a dance class that was a workout dance class and I had to leave halfway through because I started to get overwhelmed and, and everyone was turning one way and I was turning the wrong way. So I've got my work cut out. For me. So when I first got the call uh, to do Dancing with the Stars this season, I knew right away that I was gonna say yes. Uh, I had been asked in previous seasons to be a part of the show and I just, I didn't think it was the right timing for me. Uh, but this time around, uh, I knew I wanted to be a part of Dancing with the Stars. I just have so much admiration for the art of dance, uh, and I, I have zero training as a dancer, and it's my hope that, to come out of this a dancer, have a new skill set under my belt, and you know, hey, hopefully it leads to uh, a part on Broadway. When I first got the call to be on Dancing with the Stars, I thought it was a prank. I thought somebody set up an evil prank. This is the newest TikTok challenge to get me all excited and hyped up and look like a damn fool, have it recorded. And um, then I realized, no, it was actually real. And I, I was mad excited. I just like, I, I literally could not sleep for days because I love this show. And then I got really nervous and then I threw up and I don't think I went to the bathroom for like two weeks. That's a lot of information. That's why I'm surprised to be on the show because they would want somebody like me. I used to take a dance class uh, for three years from 10 to 13, but that was a long time ago. So I don't know how it's gonna help me. Maybe muscle memory will come back. Uh, I mean, I've done Broadway. I did In the Heights in 2008 and uh, some other shows, Mambo Kings. Uh, that was a long time ago. <laughs> And I just had like a couple routines, so we'll see. Listen, I my go-to dance was so lame. I've been asked this like 300 times. It's just this. There you go. That's it. That's it. That's what. That's what it is. You're not gonna get anything else until like my dance partner gets it out of me. That's my go-to dance move. It would mean, I mean, everything to me to win the mirror ball because. Dancing growing up, it was always my passion and I feel like I kind of gave up on my dream of dance in my 20s. And you know when you're in your 20s and you think like, oh, 30 is so old? I'm 35 now and I've shown myself so much resilience and that I can do whatever I put my mind to. So it would mean the world to me to just show myself that I can do this too. Never in my life had I ever think that I would be on Dancing with the Stars. This is something that I never thought I would do. 
Never Ever. Um, it kind of came as a, as a challenge, so to speak. Um, I think it was almost the quarantine fever that kind of kicked in and people just being locked in and us watching so many shows and going over so many discussions. What's going to help me show the fans that we're giving it the best that we can is just the hard work aspect of it, of this trying to push yourself and trying to know your limits, but also um, know that new things aren't the worst thing in the world. And, and that's what I'm basically trying to get across and just show people that sometimes new things can be the best things in the world. I'm going to be donating some of my fees and portions of my earnings to the Cameron Boys Foundation. And Cameron was really, really close to me. And he also did a few little guest spots on Dancing with the Stars years ago. And I just know he would be really, really proud of me. And I'm also gonna be donating to just kids in the arts and people who want to dance. So I just thought it would be a great opportunity to give back. I do have some training in dance. I used to do ballet for years, and then I got a scholarship to Dance Theater Harlem, and I was training there for years as well. But this is my first time doing any kind of ballroom dancing, and that I'm really, really nervous about. But I know once I meet my partner, they're gonna guide me through everything, and it's gonna be a great experience. One thing that's been really important to me as the host of Catfish has always been making sure that my outfits don't distract from the story. It's not about me, it's about the people I'm helping. So I've kind of just become a very simple, plain dresser, which is why I am super excited to get to put on some flash, some flair, and have a lot of fun. I want the sequins, I want the colors, I want feathers. I mean, I just want to go all out because Normally, you know, I, I dress down and, and, and pretty low key, so I'm ready to go bright and big. As far as the wardrobe goes on the show, um, you know, there really isn't much I haven't done. Uh, I wore a dress at my wedding, um, you know, so uh, there really isn't much that's outside of my comfort zone when it comes to wardrobe. The louder, the better. The more sparkle, the better. Uh, Remember, I have two beautiful girls, so anything pink and princess colors and bright and fun, uh, I'm ready for it, so bring it. My physical body is, is uh, trained to be available to whatever experiences it, it, it is that I'm meant to um, be the vessel of, really. And uh, so this is, this is a different um, craft, and I've, never, and I've never learned it, but I'm, I'm ready, I'm ready, for, I'm ready to learn how to, uh, to be able to create the uh, stories and experiences that you guys all do on Dancing with the Stars. Usually when I take on something new, it is to benefit our mission. And so taking on Dancing with the Stars and learning how to dance and doing that in front of all of these people is just one more way to reach people that I can't reach any other way with our mission about big cats and why we should protect them. One thing I can tell you for sure is I would rather work with apex predators like lions and tigers and leopards. They are a whole lot less scary than getting out there on the dance floor. How do I feel about the costume? I'm a guy who like the dress. I like to look good with people watching. So basic, me and my partner, we're gonna try to turn it up a notch have the best costume, the best look, and the smile, and just glamour. We're gonna just kill it. For anyone going out to try something new, I think the most important thing that you can do is to lay down your ego. I think you have to be open to new experiences. I think you have to be willing to fail from time to time. And it's hard when you're an entertainer or a celebrity, and you're so known for doing one thing greatly, whether you're a singer or an athlete, you're known for doing that well, and it can be hard to leave that behind and step into something new while the world watches. So for me, the most important thing that I can do is to put it all down, step into the studio for the first time with my partner, and completely submit to the situation that I'm in. I don't care if I win or lose, I care that I do well. And while that sounds really PC, I think that that's the most important thing mentally that I can do to prepare, prepare for this competition. So being on Dancing with the Stars, I would like to prove that I'm as tough as the cheerleaders that I coach. We work out for hours and hours a week, and I'm super hard on them, so I'm ready for someone to be super hard on me, and I accept that challenge. So when I first received the call about Dancing with the Stars, I was like, wow, really? Like, I just couldn't move for a minute. You know the moment when you just panic and you're just like, okay, what do I do? 
I know I want to do it, but you know, this is like great news. This is awesome. This is amazing news. So, you know, I, something I've been waiting for for a very long time. So to be able to accept this and you guys accept me means a lot. Uh, I want to put my all into it. I'm going to do my very best to try to, to compete. And at the end of the day, what my grandmother always says, she said, just go out there and do your best. So that's what I'm going to do. I think it's amazing to be part of Dancing with the Stars right now in the wake of this pandemic. Uh, I, I think people need entertainment right now. They need new content. Um, they need a feel-good show like Dancing with the Stars. And uh, I, I think this is going to be the biggest season yet because of that. Um, and, you know, it's, uh, it's a moment, definitely. And I'm excited to be a part of that moment.